Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture of Quality and Reliability Engineering. I am Milan Trivedi, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. In today's class, we are going to continue with our chapter 6 that is Reliability. We understood a lot about Reliability, the concept of Reliability with the failure, some basic functions of the Reliability and in the last class we understood about the life characteristic. Now in today's class, we are going to discuss about two and the last topics of reliability. The first one is the reliability of repairable system. When we talk about a repairable system reliability, we first of all need to understand the difference between repairable and non-repairable products. Okay, It's very easy to understand. A non-repairable product is mean those products which lead to the failure and that cannot be restored back into the original condition. Just you need to throw out that product. You cannot reuse that product once the product fails. That product are called as a non-repairable system. So we are having a number of different products. Example in that, the first one is the electrical bulb. Right? If it fails, we need to throw that bulb. The tube light. If it fails, we need to throw that tube light stick. Right? So there are certain items. Then the old mercury thermometer that broken out, we need to throw that mercury thermometer. Right? So basically that are those equipments which cannot be repaired once it has been out of uh, use right or it has been failed then there are certain items which are called as a repairable items nowadays most of the objects are in made like a, uh, having a repairable characteristics right almost all the machines if it fails we can reuse that just we need to do proper servicing we need to do proper maintenance if it has been broken out right but we can restore that particular machine that are called as a repairable product fine in today's topic we need to understand the concept of reliability for the repairable system only right just to, in order to understand that thing there are three characteristics we need to study the first one is a failure repair process right just a failure repair process in which we just show a graphical representation of some time data okay now here the graph shows one means the product is in use means the product is working okay zero state means the product is not working okay right so basically zero state is a downtime the machine is out of service or some failure has been happened right so we are just showing a graphical representation of the data on the one state the product is been used let's say for the four minute of time then for one minute if it is being filled so that will be represented over here again it is restored back then also it again back in use then it is filled then again it has been restored and back in operation that plotting we are doing that is nothing but it is a showing of a failure repair process okay the second parameter we need to understand when we talk about reliability of repairable system is a reliability measure. Right. When we talk about a repairable measure or reliability measure, we need to have an idea about mean time between failure, mean time to repair and mean downtime. This is nothing but the concept which we already understand during the understanding of life characteristic. Right? So that's why I am not uh, repeating that thing just to go back to my last lecture and understand that thing and lastly we need to understand availability also availability is nothing but it is a mean time between failure divided by mean time between failure plus mean time to repair that for this time duration the machine is properly available or for uh, in use we are having right the third thing we need to understand when we talk about reliability of a repairable system is failure point process right this term failure point process we use only whenever the downtime of the machine is very very small as compared to the running time right there are two times of the machine uptime is the machine is in use the machine is working properly downtime is machine has been failed or the product has been failed we are not using that thing and we are repairing that product in between so if that downtime is very very small as compared to uptime we are calling that time as a failure point process right it can be shown like this see the graph is somewhat different to the earlier one we are having the machine in use then there is downtime just we are indicating by vertical line so the machine is instantly repaired right so that is down downtime but it is indicating by a straight vertical line Again, we are using that thing, downtime is there, but again we are repairing, downtime is uh, uptime, again downtime. In this way, we are representing 
the a uh, failure point process that is somewhat different to the earlier one in this case failure repair process right but failure repair process can be drawn whenever the time duration of downtime is more but whenever there is less downtime we are calling it as a failure point process and it can be represented like this right now next thing we need to understand is a uh, evolution of reliability over product life cycle right now this evolution word has been used because see the reliability at different stages can be different for a different different product first of all understand that thing okay so basically we are dividing this reliability at a four different levels that is design reliability inherent reliability reliability at sale and the field reliability let us understand the fundamentals of that the reliability of product depends on the technical decisions made during the design and manufacturing phases of the product it is affected by many factors such as environment operating condition maintenance activities and so on so this implies that the product reliability evolves over the time right it changes basically over the period of time in other words the reliability can be evaluated at different different point of time means first of all let us understand this thing now uh, first of all if you are designing a product during designing phase you just make a reliability that the product will is reliable up to 5 years right so that is called as a design reliability now you are going for the production of that product okay now during the production if you are making some changes obviously the reliability of product will get changed so the reliability received after the production is called as a inherent reliability okay now the product has been made now you are selling that product right but the atmospheric condition of selling that product will get changed right there are different scenarios whenever you are selling that product or some time duration is also been changed you have made the product today you are selling that product let's say after 6 months so obviously the reliability factor has been changed so that is called as a reliability at sale time and once it has been sold now it is being used by the customer once the customer is started using every customer is different so the usage of the product will get also change right because the operating condition is been changed so at that time the reliability available is called as a field reliability so we are having a four different stages of reliability as per the stages through which the product has been passing right so that's all about the overall all the concepts of the reliability and our today's lecture thank you for watching